Hello everybody. I put on gray contact lenses. Can anyone tell? I feel like it doesn't even go with this eye look, but I put way too much effort into putting on the lenses and I also put way too much effort into doing the eye look, so I'm not removing either of them. Today um, is day one of the trip. The last vlog was night one, so don't get it twisted. Today, my main goals are to visit Mino Park. I want to do some shopping in America Mura and I also want to visit this cafe called Otto, Otto Cafe. Otto, Otto, Otter. I do have other things planned, but basically if I hit those three, then I will consider today a success. That is the plan for today and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. <music> I'm not breaking a single sweat and there's so many cute shops on the side it's taking everything in me to not buy something here the maple leaf dessert is a really popular item so maybe when I'm coming back I'll get that it's a really nice and serene walk like in Kyoto when you try to go to the bamboo forest it's really crowded so many tourists are there but here I barely see any tourists it's mainly locals who are coming here for like their weekly hike so yeah, I'm excited to see the waterfall at the end. is my favorite thing about traveling so this is a pretty good spot i get to see both the locals and foreigners and also there were so many locals who helped me like when i was trying to find mino park um when i was trying to find a money exchange machine like there were so many locals who are so happy to help if you look lost enough like one or the other local will come up to being like oh like, do you need help 
so that's really really nice about Japan and the locals here okay so now that I know my way around this place I'm gonna put my headphones on listen to music and then head back to the city my next stop is gonna be this restaurant um, I'll put the name here but it's really famous and after that I'm gonna go shopping in America Mura Onikiri Gorichan has several branches but the most popular and accessible one is in Dotonburi but if you saw my last vlog then you saw how crowded Dotonburi is so to avoid long lines I decided to be smart and go to another one but that was a fail I still had to wait a quite a bit because this branch can only seat like 10 people if you want to get takeaway then you can definitely get your order really fast but I wanted the whole experience so I waited in line and I'm so glad because this is what happened when I finally entered how cute is that? They actually announce each time a customer enters so that the other workers can stop and greet you by saying welcome. And although I didn't film this, they also did the same when a customer leaves. But of course, instead of saying welcome, they say thank you. But anyways. <laughs> Coming to the food, I can't remember my exact order but as you saw, I ordered one with chicken and one with salmon roe along with a drink. I was really skeptical of why this place was famous because onigiri is a very simple dish. It's just a rice ball wrapped in seaweed and you get it for like 100 yen. It's what you buy when you're broke. But I was pleasantly surprised. It was really filling and tasty and I would definitely recommend this place if you ever visit Osaka because this is not there in Tokyo. That restaurant was so good. Like, it's actually worth the hunt. I hate waiting in lines. But I wouldn't mind coming back to, to that restaurant and waiting in line all over again because it was so good. Now we're in Shinsai Bashi Suji. Oh my god, I tried so many times to get that word right and I'm pretty sure I still didn't. But whatever, we're gonna work with it. Auto Cafe is in the middle of the shopping street, so that's why I'm here. And the cafe itself is very small but very aesthetic. They make you buy one drink at least in order to sit down. And fun fact, I actually don't drink coffee. But unfortunately, since they didn't have anything like hot chocolate, I had to get a coffee. This is me pretending to be the main character, pretending to be very deep in thought but low-key though i was actually deep in thought because i was just kind of like whoa what am i doing on a monday night in japan like all by myself so yeah it was just kind of like hitting me but anyways I finally made my way over to America Mura to do some shopping and I started off with Kinji which is a very popular secondhand store in Japan. It has a lot of branches and guys the organization went crazy. I mean they had a category for everything. The clothes were color coded, they had shoes, they had accessories. I mean I had a blast going through everything trying to find some hidden gems and this is what I tried on. I really like the retro vibes of the shirt and I wanted to get it because I thought I could make a DIY skirt out of it like this but honestly the show was just too big because it was a men's size but I definitely will try to get another shirt like it. I like anything that's colorful, weird and unique and I felt like the show was all three so I got this. This jacket's design was so pretty like I've never seen anything like it and I really really wanted to get it but Honestly speaking, this is a piece that can get very old very quickly, so I didn't get it. Okay, I'm back at the hotel. I'm in my pajamas. As you can see, I'm about to go wash my face and go to sleep. But yeah, today was a pretty successful day. I did everything I wanted to do. However, I was disappointed by America Mura. America Mura got its name because they have a lot of stores that um, have imported goods from america right and they have like american owners in some of them and, and stuff like that so i thought there'd be like a variety of clothes and a variety of things but everywhere i went it was just streetwear and that's not my style so i did not shop as much as i wanted to today not because i don't like streetwear but because a lot of them are branded goods and i just don't believe in paying a high price tag just because something has a logo or something has like a brand name and stuff so it wasn't my thing but if you are the kind of person who loves baggy streetwear style stuff you are going to love america more they have like so many sneakers sweatshirts um branded goods so that's that's fun because of all the exploring and window shopping though my legs are tired so i'm gonna go to sleep i hope you enjoyed the vlog um yeah like comment subscribe